This is a mimosa tree. Papa does not like the mimosa tree. He tries to get rid of almost every one that we have. These over here on the new property, uh, this is the, uh, the hay field that we bought that is adjacent to our old property. That is our property now. He's cut several of these, even though they do spread like crazy. They are kind of invasive. For that reason, I could see why someone would want to get rid of them, at least control them some. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, you know, feral pigs or deer or anything else like that. Uh, you know, a few probably aren't going to hurt you, but feral pigs go crazy. You kind of have to kill, like I've heard, like 70, 80 percent of them uh, in order to maintain the population. They can, you know, spread out of control, uh, but there's some really great things about them. They are called the pioneer species. They're some of the first to appear uh, because they will grow where a lot of other things will not grow. They are also nitrogen fixers. That means that they take a lot of the, the nutrients that they need for growth out of the air and they also put extra things back into the soil, little nodules. They fix nitrogen into the soil. One of the reasons you might want these is because uh, animals love them. They're great for animal fodder. If uh, you have like a rocket mass heater that uses a uh, very tiny piece pieces of wood. You can use this uh, to coppice and uh, it'll just keep coming back and it'll keep producing more and more for you. So there's a lot of really wonderful things about it, but uh, I can see why someone might want it or might not like it. Uh, this is the mimosa tree. Here's another mimosa tree. This is over right across the road from our house. If you look closely over here at it, you can see that uh, we've kind of uh, tried to destroy it before been cut down and it's just come back from the roots. Now, these are also called albizia trees, Persian silk trees. Uh, they can be really great if you keep them managed. You can use them for chop and drop. Uh, they're very easy to break off. Some people have been known to keep them around their fruit trees, just keep them cut back, but they can grow 20 feet in a year. I mean, that's under ideal circumstances, obviously, 20 feet per year. Uh, and they can grow to be uh, nearly 200 feet tall. According to different sources, one said uh, 100 feet tall, another said 40, uh, another more official source said about uh, 140 feet tall. Apparently these are uh, kind of invasive in Hawaii. Since they grow so fast so quickly, the limbs are very brittle. They can break, cause problems with power lines and fall on your houses and actually hurt people as well. But again, they are nitrogen fixing. They have some uh, beautiful flowers on them. Uh, those uh, beautiful flowers can be put in water and steeped in water and made a, uh, make a tea out of and they're uh, it's good for an antidepressant. So uh, really a wonderful tree. Uh, maybe not something you'd want to plant unless you really want to maintain it and uh, work hard at that. But if you do have it, uh, then you can coppice that. Uh, if it's a place that you can control it, you can coppice that. Uh, you can keep it chopped and dropped. Quick burning firewood, firewood nonetheless. If you like things like this about Mimosa, like and subscribe at the notification bell. Select all so you never miss a notification. Make sure to comment down below and let me know that you like things like this so I can do more uh, things like this as well in the future. Thanks for coming.